I mean, what's more fun than making fun pants? <laughs>
from the top back crotch because I want to install a zipper there. So the front, so all the way along the curve, but the back, I'm going to start probably like around eight inches down and then sew that curve that's remaining. If you guys are ever wondering on how to get a good shot when you're sewing and you want to get like a real nice close up of what you're doing on the sewing machine, this is the way to do it. Put on a tripod, put it right there. Very useful, I guarantee it. Perfect shot. I honestly really wanted the zipper to be at my side <laughs> instead of the back. But of course, when do I not make some kind of mistake? I always have this fear that when I sit down, like the seam is gonna rip. <laughs> Where there's a zipper, it's a little bit more vulnerable. But I guess we'll just have to live life and see if that happens. And if it does, I'll just laugh it off. <laughs> oh, I can turn on the machine. I was like, why is it not working? It's still not working. Oh, it's because I'm not using the right pedal. <laughs> I'm gonna put them on right now. Oh, wow. Definitely should have picked a better pair of underwear to try these on with. Hold on. Zipper. Ooh. Hello. Yes, please. Now you look good. <laughs> Well, I definitely made them long enough, that's for sure. I definitely do need to kind of take them in a little bit more, like taper them, because this kind of is too wide. The top, I think, is exactly what I am was hoping for. That's good. I'm going based on these jeans that I have. I definitely need to taper them in because these in themselves are kind of very loose on my leg. But these jeans are like perfect, so I'm gonna taper them to this size. Oh my god, I almost, almost forgot. I want to add those like faux seams down the center of each pant, like in the front and the back. I need to do that before I put on the waist facing. So I'm just going to match up the side seams on each leg, kind of like center them, um, feel them, make sure that they're like right on top of each other. And so this will kind of give me the idea of where the center of the leg is, front and back. The tiniest, tiniest edge stitch is what I'm aiming for. Probably like 1 16th of an inch. So I'm gonna have to go really slow for this one. I freaking did it. It's very, very subtle because like the print is so busy. These are like small little details that if people do notice, it just makes it look more expensive. And I'm so sorry for like filming like only my crotch area right now, <laughs> kind of awkward, but I'm just trying to show you guys. I really, really like how that looks. Now I have to do the same thing on the other side and I have to try to do it symmetrical. So that's a challenge in itself. Go ahead, what were you doing? That's what I have to deal with every day. For the um, waist facing, I'm just going to measure approximately how long I need to make my strip of fabric. And then I'm going to double that. And I want it to be at least probably like three, maybe four inches. While I'm attaching it, like while I'm sewing, I want to stretch it just a little bit, just for like that extra, like nice, like fit on top to make sure that they don't come down or don't slide down. If I do that, I realize that this seam, this is like the side seam, is not going to match up with the side seam on the pants, but I'm okay with that. And honestly, like on top of that, who's going to see the inside of the pants when I'm wearing it? No one really. So I'm not even too worried about that. I'm just. I'm gonna make it a little bit easier for myself today. I initially wanted a um, invisible zipper, but this is all I have. And I did go to Joann's today, but I kind of was feeling cheap. I didn't want to pay $3.50 for just like a 
a zipper because I have one that's going to be functional it's the correct color. Um, so I think I'm just going to work with this. Jeez, people have patience. Let's just say you guys are doing the pants exactly step by step as I'm showing you and you're up to this step and you're kind of confused on to like how to finish this off. Just unzip it, right? Flip it like out and flat and then just um, fold the waist facing over back down. Do another stitch on top of where you sew the zipper. Cut all of this extra fabric off because you don't need it. After you're done, just flip it out and just, you know, right there just fix the corner so it's nice and sharp and you have your zipper and your waist facing done okay okay so before i officially say that i'm done i just want to reinforce the zipper i'm just gonna stitch around it go you know back and forth back and forth <laughs> and then and then i'm done okay so much for watching and in case you are wondering i made this top using a free cow neck tank top pattern the link will be in the description below for you guys to go download print and make yourself so once again thank you and i will see you at my next video bye